So I've been dabbling in a few DeFi projects on different blockchains to seek out the one that's able to provide a sustainable income passively. And I think I found one that enables me to earn roughly $500 a month with an investment of roughly $1,600. But as we all know, such projects do carry risks, be it in permanent loss, rug pull, or just getting tokens that are not really worth a lot, which makes yielding sometimes a bit stupid. But in today's video, we'll talk about the newest DeFi protocol that I've added into my portfolio to grow some passive income. Hi, my name is Jordan and welcome to the channel. So if you have been here for a while, you have seen that my last few videos were all DeFi heavy projects because it seems to be the way forward in earning passive income in the crypto space. And being an adventurer like Dora, I'm always searching for new DeFi protocols to try out and hopefully there are some out there that are able to provide decent use for a long time to come. And most recently, I was exploring another DeFi protocol on the Phantom Network. And Summit DeFi, which we have covered in a previous video, it was a protocol that allows you to raise your yields for higher yields and also earn some USDC for cash flow. And if you haven't checked out that video, you can check that video out right after this one. So in my search for a DeFi protocol, a friend of mine introduced me to a protocol called Beethoven X. What Beethoven X does is it allows you to farm LP tokens and earn a token called Beats, which is a platform's native token. So Beats is a crucial token in this ecosystem that will come into play in a later part of this video. And I will also share my current strategy that I'm using on Beethoven X. But do take this with a pinch of salt. And then you pinch, pinch, pinch. As this is just my experiences. All right, so now we are on the Beethoven um, X platform, which is beats.fi. You can see there's a little Beethoven here, which I think is um, rising from the dead, Beethoven rising from the dead. And there are quite a few things that you can do on this platform. So uh, one of the first things that you notice is that Beethoven X is just like any um, DeFi protocol that allows you to do swaps. So under the swaps tab, you're able to do swaps here um, on the Phantom Network. So any kind of Phantom tokens you have or Phantom um, bridge tokens, you're able to swap them uh, for other tokens here like USDC and etc. And the next tab that we have is the invest and farm tab. So this tab shows you all the different farms that you have that you can farm on on Beethoven. So currently I'm doing in the Hall of the Mountain King and this gives a pretty good APY of about 1% a day. So I have about 1,006 in my portfolio which roughly gives me about 16 17 dollars a day which is not too bad uh pretty good to be honest and then there's another one, melody from hell so this is another pool that has four different tokens and we'll go through how does all this work and then there's a stick page here so this is where beats will come into play and why beats is a very important token to have so let's talk about the different farms that beethoven has and and what it allows you to do so they have the Fidelio Duetto that farms um, beats, 80% beats and 20% FTM. So this is your standard liquidity pool that you see, but usually in liquidity pools, they're all in 50-50 mix. But over here on Beethoven X, they come in a percentage. So this comes with 80% in beats and 20% in rep FTM. And then we have a late quartet. This one has four different tokens, all in 25%, which is USDC, rep Phantom, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. And we have Phantom of the Opera, which is 70% rep Phantom and 30% USDC and they have a stable farm here as well which is USDC and DAI Steady Beats Act 2 and they have one that is like 6 different tokens which is pretty unique because you have 20% in Phantom 16% um, in Matic 16% Solana 16% AVAX 16% Luna 16% BNB so this gives you a yield of about 20% APY which I, which I think is, is pretty cool and if we sort by APR, you're able to see this is the highest paying one right now, which is the rep Sigma's rep symphony, which comes with rep stick, SCR and DAI tokens. So these are all the farms that's available. And let me walk you through um, how you can start and what are the things that I like about Beethoven X that makes um, sticking to liquidity pools pretty easy. So currently I'm in the farm um, in the Hall of the Mountain King. So if we click on this, you can see that 
Currently, this is the amount in my pool balance, 20% USDC, 60% submit token. Uh, it's a token that we covered before in a previous video where you can raise your yields. Uh, let me just bring it up really quickly. So just a quick recap, submit tokens, you're able to raise your yields to earn uh, more yields within a certain time frame. And the next one's going to happen in the next hour. So if you do have submit tokens from here, you're able to bring them here after you unfreeze it in a glacier and you can stick it here for about 525% APR. So this APR do change over time and throughout the day, there are some changes as well. So over here, um, what you earn is you earn bids and then you also earn swap fees. I can see this is my pending bids rewards right now, which is roughly worth $9. And at the top here, you're able to see the price of bids, which is 61 cents. So traditionally, when we invest into liquidity pools, we have to have um, a 50% mix of each token and we have to create a liquidity token by going to an exchange and then we add liquidity, we have to supply two different tokens two different tokens, right? So over here, we have three different tokens. It makes things slightly a bit more complex, but BitovenX makes, me, make, makes it very, very easy for you. So all you need to do is to have either one of these tokens here. It could be USDC, it could be Submit, it could be Red Phantom, and they will just convert and create the LP pool for you um, very, very quickly. So over here, if you click on Invest, so I have two USDC. Um, I'm just going to use this as an example. And you can see, I'm going to just put two USDC here. I'm going to press preview. It's going to show me that I'm going to get um, my potential weekly yield. It's going to be 17 cents per week, which is pretty okay. Um, for $2, you get 17 cents a week. Um, you know, within the next two months, you'll get 50% of your money back. Uh, pretty awesome. So all you got to do next is to press invest. And we sign the con transaction. So at the bottom here, you can see it's pending invest here. Two USDC into 20% USDC, 60% submit, 20% into FTM. So we just give it a wait. Yep. So once the transaction has gone through, you see that it gives you this little animation with fireworks. And you kind of know that, oh, okay, my investment is done. So one that, once that is done, you can click on the page again. So it's very, very simple. You don't have to have all three tokens. Either one of these tokens will do and they will just do the swaps for you um, um, easily with just one click of a button. And Phantom fees are really cheap right now. Um, so I think it's a good time to explore some Phantom networks too. So you can see right here, under my investments, I just invested two USDC uh, one minute ago. So in this farm itself, um, what we're going to farm is we are farming for the token Beats, which is a native token for Beethoven X. So over here, um, beats play a very, very important role on the platform because it allows you to stake beats. If you click on the stake tab at the top, it will bring you to a new page where you can maximize your yields by staking into Fidelio Duetto BPTs for F beats. So when you are staking your when you are staking into the Fidelio Duetto pool, um, you do get some rewards as well. You get the rewards from the pool as a liquidity provider you get farm incentives and you get 30% of the protocol's revenue. And in return of doing this, you'll get a token called FBits that you can see right here. And my stake now is currently 32 FBits. So FBits has another role in this ecosystem uh, that we'll cover as we go on um, throughout this video. So to get started, and let's say you want to invest into this pool to get FBits, um, what you can do is to just click on invest. The same thing goes again, but you just need to have either Phantom or Beats token. So because I already have Beats tokens um, as a reward, I could just click on this top icon here with three little stars. I can harvest all the rewards here. I'm just going to harvest it right now. And then we wait for the transaction to go through. All right, so we have all our rewards harvested. Uh, as you can see, the pending rewards now is back to zero. So what we're going to do next is to if you're already in the stick tab, um, you can just go to invest. So over here, I can supply the maximum amount of bits that I have, which I'm going to click max. Um, so they will suggest that I put um, two FTM, but if I don't want to, I can, I can just leave it as it is and press preview. Otherwise, I could press optimize and this will give me the, the best um, composition possible. And this comes with a 0% price impact. 
So if you don't want to do that, it's fine as well. You can do that as well. So I'm just going to do this for the sake of the video. And we're going to press preview. So this will earn me another set 16 cents um, per week. So we're going to press invest and we just wait. So by doing this transaction, what it does is it will mint F bits immediately and deposit them directly into the farm with Z. So this is one of the new features that I realized that a few other DeFi protocols are coming up with, but I think Beethoven is one of the first few that did it. And it's pretty cool because you do all the different transactions in one go. So let's say if we didn't have this Z function, um, what's going to happen is that we will have to supply 20% of beats, 80 per, uh, sorry, we're going to supply 80% of beats, 20% of phantom. We create a liquidity pool token. And then we have to go to the swap farm. We have to invest the tokens here again. And once we do that, we have to go back to the stick page to stick your F beats into F beats farm, which is like another two different transactions, which will cost you a bit more money. Uh, although fees are low, but if you are, if you are able to reduce that fees, I think that is something good as well. So once we have the F bits here, you can see that now my F bits is 53 F bits and these F bits are getting used as well. So over here, uh, my Fidelio Duetto pool will continue earning 67% APR for me. And in my Hall of the Mountain King, I'm getting a 400% APR on my balance here that is giving me um, beats token as well. All right, so next, um, so this is this is part of my strategy, right? So I'm, I'm sticking into Hall of the Mountain King because I'm invested in the Summit protocol. And I do have Summit tokens that will come out to me in the next couple of days. So I'm just going to put all my Summit tokens into this platform that allows me to yield uh, more beats and the beats will allow me to farm into the Fid Fidelio Duetto pool that will earn me even more beats and I will get more F beats in return. So one of the purpose of having F beats is something called Bright Wars, which is something um, very, very interesting for Beethoven X because it's like a launch pad. It's like a I IEO, IGO kind of thing. Um, it's pretty interesting here. So if you click on the three dots here, we'll go to the vote page. This is where we can do the voting for all the different tokens. So you can see that there is one coming up called um, Dai USD, Day USDC, which is got between two stables. So this is actually a farm here on Beethoven as well. And they are all looking to launch um, onto the Beethoven platform. So what they're doing here is to bribe people into voting for them. And when people get, and when these projects do get votes, they will be able, um, they will, they, they will give out rewards uh, in their tokens that you can just put it back into the farms to farm more beats that will give you more F beats to farm for more tokens in the next round of voting. So you can see these are all the different farms available. And I think this guy is going to win gods between two stables. So these guys are, they are probably going to win the, the voting. Let me see if we can find one. Okay. So um, I think the pool is not on yet. It could be here. Oh, there. There we go. Got between two stables. So it's a die USDC, day USDC farm that gives you an 8% reward. So this farm is currently running. Um, they are leading the bright wars. And you can check out the different bribes that's available. Uh, let me just pull it out really quickly. So if you do join the Discord channel um, or Discord, uh, you're able to access this sheet that allows you to see the different rewards available if you vote for that particular project. So like uh, one got between two stables, these guys are giving $7,000 in deals per percentage of votes, votes of our pool. So right now, uh, there is a calculation here that allows you to see what you get in dollar value for every 10,000 F bits. So you get $190 um, worth of tokens for every 10,000 F bits that you have. And if you don't understand this Excel sheet and it's a bit too hard, you can, there's another site that you can go to, which is beatwars, beatwars.life. So over here, it shows you all the different uh, farms that are fighting to get more votes. And you're able to see gods between two stables, $19 per 1,000 F bits. So this is why FBs is really important and why you should start farming for FBs because with more FBs, you're getting all this money here, which is like a bonus for you. And you can do, um, you can either recompound it back into your current pools or your current farms, or you can just put it into a new farm that allows you to earn even more beats token. But definitely it's not really about voting for the best reward because it really depends on a few things. Like if 
you are staked into a pool like me i'm i'm in the hall of the mountain king ideally i would want my pool to be able to be um, provide the best yield and chances are i might want to vote for them over other pools even though the rewards might not be the best because if you are always voting for the best rewards um i'm not sure how this will affect the whole ecosystem but i will vote for pools that i'm invested in and that is something i think everyone should consider as well so that covers how you can start farming on, on X Beethoven and one of the few features that I mentioned was a zapping that allows you to um, straight away use one token to go into a farm with multiple different tokens without you changing too many tokens and doing too many transactions by just doing one transaction you're able to just zap in into any farms that you want provided that you have the token that the farm is supporting so one question that I had when I started this, this um, DeFi was when I'm going to withdraw, do I withdraw all three tokens and how is that going to be? So the withdrawal process is pretty um, simple. So I'm just for the video sake, I'm just going to do a withdrawal here. I'm going to hit on max. I'm going to click on withdraw BPT. So this is the Hall of the Mountain King. Withdraw BPT. So once we do that, we have to confirm the transaction. Waiting for it. Claim pending. Right, so withdrawal has been settled, your LP tokens have been withdrawn from the farm and any pending result, re rewards have been harvested. Alright, so once that is done, um, we're going to click on the withdraw button here that will light up. So when we click on withdraw, we are able to withdraw in all tokens. That means we're going to get all three tokens here. Or we can just get FTM. This will give us all the FTM. Or we can withdraw everything in USDC. Or withdraw everything in Summit tokens. So over here, it's really, really up to you on how you want to play this game, what your strategy is. But I think that's the beauty of this project because it allows you to withdraw in just one single token in one single transaction that, and this prevents you from doing multiple transactions that you have to pay multiple fees for. So this is how you're going to do the withdrawal. Um, I'm just going to redeposit back in because I think the yields are too good to, re to, not, to not do it. So basically that is the Beethoven X project uh, and my experience so far. Um, I haven't got a chance to join the voting because I missed a snapshot. And something to note is that these snapshots do not happen um, on a timely basis. It happens at random. So ideally you want to have as much um, F-bits stake. So with more F-bit stakes, um, you do get more voting power as well. And definitely if you have a thousand F-bits, you're going to get a lot more um, rewards as well. So. I think a good goal is to have a thousand F beats that allows you to earn extra $19. And this bright wall happens every two weeks. So if every two weeks you're gonna get like $10, $20 extra, I think that is really, really good money that can be reinvested or can be, um, you know, um, divested into different pools that you really support um, these projects for. So that's the end of today's video. Um, do let me know your thoughts on Beethoven X. What are the strategies that you guys have with Beethoven X? I'm really interested to find out more about this project and what else we can do to earn additional income. And nonetheless, if you haven't, do drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.